king after the fall of Austria-Hungary. The nobles are still part of Austrian society today, but they know the Austrian nobility is a status group in Austria. The nobility was officially abolished in 1919 after the fall of Austria-Hungary. The nobles are still part of Austrian society today, but they no longer retain any specific privileges. Austria's system of nobility was very similar to Germany's system, as both countries were previously part of the Holy Roman Empire. Any noble living in the Habsburg ruled lands, and who owed their allegiance to the dynasty and therefore to the emperor, was also considered part of the Austrian aristocracy. This applied to any member of the Bohemian, Hungarian, Polish, Croatian, Dalmatian and other nobilities in the Habsburg Dominion. Attempting to differentiate between ethnicities can be quite confusing, especially for nobles during the time of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy and Holy Roman Empire, not during the time of the Austrian Empire. A noble from Galicia, for example, could call himself a Polish noble, but he also rightfully belonged to the Austrian nobility. When speaking of Austrian nobility, two categories can be made. One, the historic nobility that lived in the territories of the Habsburg Empire and who swore allegiance to the dynasty, which included everyone until 1918. Two, the present, post-1918 Austrian nobility, specifically those who today retain Austrian citizenship, whose family originally come from Austria proper, South Tyrol and Burgenland, or who were ennobled at any point under Habsburg rule and identify themselves as belonging to that status group. History, from 1453 onwards, the Archduke of Austria had the right to grant nobility to non-nobles, as did the Archbishop of Salzburg, as Salzburg remained an independent territory. Besides the Holy Roman Emperor from 1438 to 1806 anyway, only a few territorial rulers within the empire had this right. In an era of absolutism, the nobility residing in the city slowly turned itself into the court nobility. Service at the court became the primary goal of the nobility. This in turn initiated an interest in education and the interests of the court. Within the court, a close inner circle, called the 100 family Len, possessed enormous riches and lands. They also had great influence at the court and thus played an important role in politics and diplomacy. After the end of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the Habsburg rulers, who were Austrian emperors from 1804 onwards, continued to elevate individuals to nobility until the end of the monarchy in 1918. Some of the noble families even obtained the right to be seated in the Herenjos in the Imperial Council of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Nobles from previously sovereign states That's such as Brazil and the Italy also had their noble rights in front and were allowed to keep their titles. And it's Bergenland, getting quite windy. The former status of nobility in Bergenland, which was part of the Kingdom of Hungary until 1921, see Hungarian nobility. Jewish nobility. A few very wealthy Jewish families were ennobled after the 1782 Edict of Tolerance. Because of the edict, decreed by Emperor Joseph II, very wealthy Jewish bankers, and later entrepreneurs and industrialists, could also be ennobled for their services but with no title or lower ranking titles, such as Bahia or Ritta. The few Jewish families elevated into the aristocracy were not required to forswear their faith, but most of them converted to Christianity in order to become more... So that is Friar, yeah, that is uh, the man who is now uh, the uh, Von Winfried. That is the cover for uh, St Boniface. Yeah, and all of that is out of Frankfurt because the person that was Mr. Vicar uh, <laughs> Winfried, that becomes Von Fried in the Austrian nobility and for the Bank of England it becomes Bradley Fried. Or accepted. Although elevation into the nobility meant recognition for success and civic contributions and entailed a rise in social status, it did not alter the fact that Jews were, for the most part, still only being tolerated. Jews could not freely choose the place and duration of their stay and had to regularly ask for permission from the authorities. When Number the bank two, protector of arts Raymond Carl Wetzel von Plankenstein was created a Reichsfreiherr by Empress Maria Theresia, he converted to Catholicism while still young. 
His mansion in Vienna was a center of the fine arts and he was a close friend of Mozart, as his son Alexander was at Ludwig van Beethoven. Despite these difficulties, by 1821 there were at least 11 ennobled Jewish families living in Vienna alone. Some of the very wealthy included the Rothschilds, Einstein, Eskold, Kompertz, Kofner, Lieben, Ospis, Skate von Koromler, Todesco, Williamstein, and von Wern's families. So that is Todesco that is now shortened to Tesco. Yeah, it's a conspiracy theory. I will find evidence for it later on. The elevation into the nobility of wealthy Jews also started the process of assimilation of Jewish families into the Austrian upper class. Abolition of nobility in 1919. The Adel Sophia Bunch of 1919 abolished nobility as well as all noble privileges, noble titles and names, but only in Austria. In other monarchies of Europe, the Austrian noble families can wear their noble titles or even particles such as von and zu in his or her name and they still have the status of nobility there. For example, the name of the heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire became simply Karl Habsburg, not Karl von Habsburg, but in Kingdom of Belgium his real name is Archduke Karl of Austria. This may sometimes be confusing, as descendants of nobles are sometimes referred to with noble names abroad. Also, members of noble families often hold multiple citizenships, as was the case for Otto von Habsburg, who was also a citizen of Germany. The Austrian law does not apply to artistic, performer or stage names, where von is sometimes used, as in the case of conductor Herbert von Karajan or the musician Hubert von Gozern. However, stage names and... So that is Von Abba, and that is the father god pistake for these elite families that run all the great wars and then flit out and become uh, other people's cabinet members or their monarchy. Or their money lenders, Hannah. Yeah? Or their supermarkets. Yeah. Or the shipping lines. Never recognised for official purposes. Members of the lower nobility especially found this radical step of abolition degrading and humiliating, since working towards and finally earning a nobility title was a way for them and their families to rise within society. Members of the higher nobility were able to absorb the formal abolition more easily. They lost their titles and privileges, but kept their social manners, standing and riches. Federal President Michael Hainish called the official abolition, the law abolishing nobility and titles was never repealed, even during the period of Austro-Fascism. Following the Anschluss to Nazi Germany, this law remained on the books, although it was not enforced, allowing Austrian nobles to use titles freely again. Although noble titles and the particles von and zu are not legal anymore, some persons are still unofficially referred to by their titles. For example, Karl Schwarzenberg will occasionally still be referred to as Far One Quarter RST Zu Schwarzenberg in the media. He holds Czech and Swiss citizenship, not Austrian. Unlike the nobility in but That's the blacks and the blacket mafia that has persecuted me and followed me all around the world. Yeah, so that commoner Kate from that mafia can become the Queen of England. Absolutely ruthless, total control, and they're now cutting the grass, yet yeah, with the wind blowing and howling around uh, on both sides of the house. Yeah, with massive machines so that the noise can obfuscate the interview. Bohemia, <laughs> Poland, Russia, or the former Prussian territories, the Austrian nobility never had its lands and riches confiscated in Austria. Social measures were introduced by the Republican government in order to create more equality amongst the citizens and finance public projects, which put a strain on the traditional land-holding gentry and aristocracy, resulting in the forced sale of many palaces and lands due to the expense of their upkeep. However, there was no measure by the government specifically to target nobility and take away their possession. Poor thing, Hannah. To many Austrians, 
the abolition of nobility, its privileges and titles was and still is an important element of a democratic and republican state, where individuals are treated equally and thus should earn any positions or honors solely through individual merit. Noble titles have been replaced with an almost obsessive usage of and fascination with academic titles and titles of office. Still, the nobility today are sometimes nonetheless treated slightly differently. So von Karajan, yeah, von Garda and von Abba, they get tax breaks if they prance around in their stupid uniforms. Isn't it clever? Yeah, none of them pay a cent in tax and none of them live in the countries where they used to be the emperors of. Except the ones that are still on the committee of 300 with the massive mansions and all of those covers in Hollywood for every name in the nobility. Yeah, that's Herzog. Yeah, that is all the names that you've just heard. And it's a tiny portion of them. Rory Bremner and Jim Rennick. If from other citizens, Austrian nobility still plays a large part in movies made after World War II and is still featured regularly in the media and literature. The social events of nobles are still covered extensively in tabloids. Besides, the law is often broken on occasions when members of the nobility are addressed at various events. At the annual birthday celebration of Emperor Franz Joseph and Badish, for example, members of the former Imperial House of Habsburg, more precisely the family of the heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, are addressed as Imperial and Royal Highness. So that's Rob Bryden, yeah, who uses the P and O shipping lines, which is the same joke as Tesco, yeah. P and O is the piso. Yeah, that's the master race right through world history. Yeah, and that is the Bible authors that allows them in austro hungary to rile up the gods, and that's why they have a massive history of floods in that austro hungarian region, and right into the delta for the Rhine, which is in Holland, and the places that I was studying this morning. And they've been flooded ever so frequently because that is the launch of the false bible, Taranis, the TARDIS, the time team, the capacity to change your position eh, on the historical transcript in the TARDIS and that is the god Taranis and the naming of the Tartans for the murder of the men in skirts that are the simpletons in Scotland. But this lot are in panic because they've not turned the lawn mowers on because I took their pictures. Be terrible if my house were being surveilled. Apart from the prohibition of their titles, most former nobles have fared remarkably well in modern Austria and still make up some of the richest families, such as the Esterhaz Edwai, Mayor Menhoff and Mortner Markov. Many members of the Austrian nobility today work in the traditional fields of diplomacy, politics, have business and financial interests, or are philanthropists or socialites. It was estimated that there were about 20,000 Austrian nobles in 2005. That year, an association was founded, the Verenigung der Edelutinistrik. Did I hear that correctly? That's 2,000, or was it 20,000? Let's take it back just a tiny little bit so that there's no ambiguity. Royal and Royal Highness. Apart from the prohibition of their titles, most former nobles have fared remarkably well in modern Austria and still make up some of the richest families, such as the Esterhaz Edwai, Mayor Menhoff and Mortner Markov. Many members of the Austrian nobility today work in the traditional fields of diplomacy, politics, have business and financial interests or of philanthropists or socialites. It was estimated that there were about 20,000 Austrian nobles in 2005. Quite a good football crowd if they wanted to do that at the World Cup, which starts this afternoon. Yeah, but they would need to have their Batman and help to get up the stairs. That year, an association was founded, the Berenikum der Edelutinistrik, 
which sees itself as the successor of the very Nikon Katholische Radeluternistrik, founded in 1922 but banned under the Nazis in 1938. Until recently, all of the various attempts... That's Hitler Rothschild, who was a Jew too in some of the stories. Yeah, middle name Alois, so that that is undoubtedly the A. Louis dynasty of Versailles and Bourbon, and some of them pretend to get their heads cut off. Said revival was blocked by Austrian authorities. Noble titles, Austria's nobility was divided into two categories, the higher nobility and the lower nobility. To the higher nobility belong the princes and counts, and to the lower nobility belong the barons, knights and untitled noble families, non-ruling member of the imperial family, non-ruling members of the imperial family were given the title of the wife of the emperor bore the title of empress and was styled her imperial majesty, archduke, archduchess and styled imperial and royal highness. Agnates of the imperial family, who were excluded from the line of succession, were created dukes and duchesses or princes and princess and addressed as highness or serene highness. Duke duchess, higher nobility titles, English titles with German equivalents, prince princess, count countess one, one for a countess not being married, the title comtes was used, borrowed from the French language comtes. Lower nobility titles, English titles with German equivalents, Baron Baroness II, Knight, Edler Edel, II in German, a distinction between Baronesses exists, a Frei for being a Baroness by marriage and Frei in being a Baroness by birth. The title of Knight is equivalent to Baronet that is hereditary Knight, and Edler means noble. Below is an incomplete list of Austrian noble families, listed by rank of title. Note that some members of a family were sometimes given higher titles by the emperor because of merit. Titles, styles, and rights could only be conferred by the monarch. In some cases, they could even be revoked because of fall from favor. The imperial family, Erzazog Erzatsagin, of Austria, of Austria Est, Gr That's Herzog, the filmmaker. Yeah, and the Pistic. Uh, and we still do not have entertainment by the grass cutters other than on the other side of the building I haven't got their picture but they're both sides now yeah like World War Two, all of it a mass massacre of the poor people Groamites again of Tuscany Herzog Herzogin of Babenberg, <laughs> extinct 1246, of Ohenberg, of Modena and Est, of Reichstadt, of Teschen, the nobility, because of the abolition of the... That's the Hohen laws of the uh, Kaiser Wilhelm dynasty that refused not to use the swastika even at his funeral. Yeah, and he died at the age of 88. Yeah, and he was the uh, head of the British Admiralty within one week of the declaration of war uh, against Germany. The prepositions, many families were forced to reinvent their family names completely. This brought in many complications. The following list of the non-Habsburg nobles shows the pre-1919 family names or preposition in brackets, followed by the standard appearance today. Noble families could have the preposition von, zu, or a combination of it. Non-German speaking nobility, however, preferred to use der, such as those in Bohemia, Hungary, and Galicia, as they felt that it was less Germanic sounding. Since Austria-Hungary was a multi-ethnic empire, Ooh la la, deviant activity to rule the world. Both versions could be officially used and were recognized by the government. Conversely, family names using prepositions like de and de la could not replace the preposition with the Germanic von. For example, the family Sanchez de la Sada originally came from Spain, therefore the preposition remained as in the original. The same exception applies to other families such as Schaparagraf NBURG de la Zerna and de la Fontaine am Down und Ordnung The latter is an interesting combination of French and German language prepositions, 
which again is a reflection of the colorful multi-ethnic history of the Austrian Empire. Often, family names with a predicate were written von XY, even though the correct form is X von Y. Far one quarter RST, far one quarter RSTIN. The style of address is Der Klogt. Also used was far one quarter of Schneiden. The Austrian princely title was the most prestigious title of the Austrian nobility, forming the higher nobility alongside the counts. This close inner circle, called the 100 family N, possessed enormous riches and lands. They also had great influence at the court and thus played an important role in politics and diplomacy. Today, the fortunes of the Austrian princely families remain among the biggest fortunes of the country. Graf Gra currency Finn. The style of addresses, in most cases, are locked. And that for the swastika fans like Kaiser Wilhelm II, yeah, is the graf that is the windmill blades, yeah, that are there, yeah, so that we can uh, get rid of the gods that created, even the emperor, yeah, that is the windmill blades that are the threat and becomes the limbs of the swastika and the battle of Quatre Bra for the fascists at Waterloo with the stealing of the first five central banks across Europe. Celebrated by Von Abba who won the Eurovision Song Contest in their tax-free kit. Also used was Gra currency Fleisch Maiden. Fuhrerufruin. There was no official style but na currency dig her hair, na currency dige frau, or na currency digs fra currency uline were common forms of address. Although strictly speaking the title was for year, the usage of baron in written and verbal communication was very common, even if incorrect. The title fine was also often replaced for chborin baronin, which was strictly speaking also incorrect since a baronin would have been wed already. Ritter, there was no official style. But now currency digger. That's Del Boy Rutter, the rugby players at uh, Blackheath Rugby Club, which is the oldest in the world, apart from Richmond, and that is the Duke and Duchess of Richmond that hosted the ball on the eve of the Battle of Waterloo. And only the men in kilts died the following day, because they are the stupid people. Yeah, and still are, and that is still the tartan joke for all of them. They get married in it, they die in it, and at Waterloo they are the only ones that attended the ball as the outlandish characters that died the following day. The rest were on their mountain tops in their dinner suits. Good hair was a common form of address. The title was for males only. No female version exists. Female members of a family with the title Ritter, however, were often addressed as Edel Von, which was totally incorrect, unless the fa- And that is the Rutters of Melrose, yellow and black for fascism, uh, that bought my house and they sent the air balloon across the top of it the same evening. <laughs> yeah, and he claims that he's nothing to do with Del Boy uh, in the social media. Family already carried the Edler honour before being raised as into the Ritter class. Edler Edel, the rank of Edler carried no official style, but na currency dig her hair or na currency dige frau were common forms of address. Erbter currency LZER, this title belonged to the patricians of the free city of Wohl, in Germany, who had the hereditary right to exploit the nearby salt mines. Thus this title was not granted in Austria, but merely recognised there. Von, Lillen, Von, Papen, entitled Noble Families. Yeah, all of those famous pictures of Von Papen with the spiky bit up above his hat. Yeah, to pretend that they do not need a balloon to get to heaven. <laughs> yeah, Von Papen. Yeah, huge in the armies that brutalised the whole of Europe. Uh, and then, uh, sorry, the whole of the world and killed 80 million in World War One, and uh, 45 million in World War Two. 
and 1.5 million of them alone at Stalingrad after the war was virtually over and that is then named St. Petersburg after their greatest hero Arius Calpurnius Piso who actually wrote himself into the Bible as St. Peter. <coughs> Do you get the naming of Tesco too? Your status unknown. Marquis, Gosney D.S. Giorgio, Seals. T is the Christian cross and Todesco is the Austrian nobility name. So, Bohemian nobility, German comital titles, Hungarian nobility, notes. References. Literature. Binder Kegelstein, Reinhardt. History I Chisches Adelschrecht 1868 Euro 1918 slash 19. Von der Rost Stalt um der Adelsrechts der Slenischen Reichsche Currency LFTE bis zum Adelsophie Bunch Gesetz der Republik unter besonderer Beer of one court excited on de Adele all over the place because that is another term for eh, the aristocracy. Uh, Adele soften boom so stacks der Republik unter besonderer. John Cleese would be much better at that as a member of the billionaire community that laughs at the same joke. They had Elijah Namens Reds. Frankfurt to Maine, UA. Peter Lang. ISBN A 978-3-631-34833-8. Cowden Hakalergy, Richard. Adel. Vienna. 1923. Frank Dahl Paragraph Ferring, Peter. The Desch Lexicon Desa Paragraph Street I Chish and Cal I Circums 1804 Euro 1918. Herder, Vienna 1989. ISBN 3-210-24925-3. Even, Dominic. The Aristocracy in Europe, 1815 Euro 1914. New York, Columbia University. Press. ISBN A 0 231 Do you get the significance of dates like that? Yeah, the stealing of the five Arrows central banks and then the launch of the next conflict. 3 631 34833 8 Cowden Hercology, Richard. Adel. Vienna. 1923. Frank Dahl Paragraph Ferring, Peter. The Desch Lexicon Desa Paragraph Street I Chish and Can I Circums 1804 Euro 1918. Herder, Vienna 1989. ISBN 3-210-24925-3. So have you ever played Lexicon? Yeah? Even, Dominic. The Aristocracy in Europe. 1815 Euro 1914. New York, Columbia University. Press. So that's 1815 to 1914. New York, Columbia University Press. Yeah, all official academics with those lovely titles that allow Drew Faust, the descendant of uh, Marcus Aurelius, to be the boss at Harvard, but nobody knows it except me and possibly the gra ca grass cars the day I made that video. ISBN A 0-231-08112XA Seidert, Heinz Adelinistrieg, in German Vienna 1971 STEKL, Hans Adel and Bar 1 in der Habsburgermanegi 18 bis 20 Giant Dirt, in German. Oldenburg, Vienna 2004. ISB. You hear the term BIS being used? That for them is the Bank of International Settlements and the Committee of 30, which are very prone now to off piste accidents. EN 3-486-56846-9 Walter Skirken, Gardula Doors Blute Far One Quarter R.A. Amalthea, Vienna 2000 
So that was Jar's hounder, yeah, as they hunt down the gods in the heavens, yeah, and that is Don Quixote's mission uh, to kill those gods that have become cannibals against the human race. And that is in Harrison Avenue as I make this the role of uh, uh, the uh, gladiator actor that is Harris yeah, as the giant in the heavens and the giant on the beach that is uh, not Goliath in this case but all of it is the same story yeah that's the promised land for the chosen ones and that's why my videos on the Austrian nobility number one and number two uh, are based in Palm Beach and everything that has now been banned uh, from the social media. Yeah, that is the Felix legions and the stories about the people who live next to Donald and Bona, yeah, and all of the families that live in Palm Beach that used to be Austrian nobles uh, and used to live under Italian volcanoes, but they're much safer in America, which has been stolen by its pagan nations who have been subject to genocide like they do all of the time yet and they get tax breaks for wearing crazy looking gear and ostrich feathers and things ISBN 3-85002-452-0 Walter Skelkin, Godula Der Verbal Genstand Adeline Astria Cute Amalthea, Vienna 2007 ISBN 3-85002-428-8 Der Gotha Supplement Der Istria Gotha Mitterguck That's Saxe, Coburg and Gotha and Mr and Mrs Windsor who now feel safer not using the Austrian naming system Quarantine Sankt Swerk und Dom Medal Salah, Munich 1997 ISBN 3-598-30359-9 External links Very Nagong der Radio homepage of the Association of Austrian Nobles Historia Chisches Familienregister Database of all Austrian Noble Families Tiroler Adler Database of all Tyrolean Noble Families And I just happen to be living in Adler if you want to come and assassinate me Yeah, one of you Hussars or the, I forget what the Jesus name is, the Dragon's Den, yeah, that's the dragoons that wear the bizarre Osterreich feathers on the Pizzo horse, and on and on it goes, and all of them steal from the world, and only their kids get a conscience, which is why they sent to create a little pool on the table in the pub last night. Really nice people like these appear to be on the outside. They have stolen everything that is God's property on this earth, and that's why they are now in a state of panic. Yeah, and we're not today being entertained by the grass cutters because the mugshot will be in the video. Stift on CEO Lichikon Medal Online Encyclopedia of Art Nobility in Austria, Heraldisch Genealogisch Zelschaft Adler Wien homepage of Heraldic Genealogy Society Eagle in Vienna. Job done. And look at the wind howling. Yeah, you can hum a little bit now, God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, I'm going to stop. And this is George Lees, who makes the videos in uh, a Forbes house. Uh, but thank you to Mr. Forbes for allowing that to happen. Uh, I'd better get back into the Humphrey zone. Oh no, that's John Humphreys, and all of them are in the world owning bloodline and are in charge of the social media. And John Humphreys is in charge of BBC News every fucking morning. It's quite sickening. <laughs> bye bye.